I mean, in terms of thinking about in hotel investments, how we think about them for the future, there's a few things. You've got to start with the consumer. What do consumers want? What do consumers need? What are they doing? We've seen increasing growth in travel for experiences, right? People want experiences is what they want. And that ultimately drives where you want to invest, how you want to invest, and the kind of product that we want to invest into. The way we look at it in Invesco, we look at it around a strategic framework. We've been using that framework for quite a long time now, and it's, and it's grounded in fundamentals of location, um, barriers to entry with markets, getting the right operator and brand, and getting all of that right, getting all of the combination right with a bit of capex to then drive performance. It's ultimately how we make compounding investments for our investors. And that just means investments that just get a little bit better each year. We're not trying to do you know, 20% returns in three years. We're trying to just make better and better investments uh, into the long term. And the thing that's really great about the hotel industry, the fundamentals stack up exceptionally well. So that's, that's a really solid point. Always say invest with a good strategic framework in mind. And at the moment, I think it maybe is the time to take a bit more of a contrarian view. Don't necessarily follow the herd where everybody's going to make their investments. And maybe the future is, you know, maybe going back where we've been before. It's time to actually start looking back at some of the hotels that worked in the past and thinking actually maybe now is a really good time to be investing in those assets and seeing that we can make great returns for our investors.